on the trees now, they're bending. The tree leaves. Oh, devastation, I can't. Leaves everywhere. I think there's a tree inside our car. Where's Poppy? Poppy! Hang on. Good afternoon world. It may not look like it, but a huge typhoon is coming. The warnings have been set. We're gonna be expecting four meter high waves, 150 kilometer per hour winds. I even read that if you've got a house with a Nipah roof or this kind of native style on the top, it's most likely going to get destroyed. The weather warnings are saying go outside and basically take anything out of your garden that doesn't need to be out there. We don't really have any garden furniture to deal with, but we do have some solar panels up on the roof that I'm going to take down now. Luckily the roof of our main house is all concrete. I think we'll be safe. I just hope this house next door will be okay. We'll see. I don't actually want to completely cover up the solar panel because we might need it. There's going to be power cuts. I just want to get it off of the roof. So I've put a big stone on there, some wood to weigh it down, doesn't get blown away. But 150 kilometer per hour winds, that's like 80 miles per hour. That's pretty fast. Kind of wish I'd made the time to bolt all of this stuff down properly now, but it's going to be hitting probably in about 12 hours time so it makes sense for me to just do what I can rather than trying to get up here and drill things in without properly testing it. We do have power bank which should last for I'd say maybe 24 hours if we use it efficiently but I've heard that when this actually hits it could be on for like 72 hours you know 48 to 72 hours of no power no internet so we're gonna see you might not be able to see this vlog until way after the day. My mum always used to tell me growing up in Myanmar when they used to have typhoons they would open the windows a little bit and let the wind flow through the house to you know make sure that there was not so much resistance I guess pushing against the house but that was with wooden houses on stilts and everything I'm not sure if that would apply so much but we could open some of these vents but then I can just imagine a whole load of stuff is just going to get blown through. I think in a situation like this with a house made of concrete, I'll just keep it shut. I want to check the car as well, make sure I haven't left anything in the back of it. I want to say a big thank you to the people of the Philippines who have been sending us all the messages to warn us about this typhoon. Yes, we have experienced a few typhoons here in the Philippines already, having been here for like a year and a half maybe just a bit over. However, we've never actually had a typhoon pass over the island. It's always like skirted it or been, you know, just go passing by. So this will be our first experience of being in the eye of it, I guess. It's pretty scary. These are the kind of things that freak me out when I think about like a storm or whatever, like imagining these metal sheets being ripped off and just flying through the air and, you know, could cut things, couldn't it? can't really do much more to protect the cars. I've just picked up loose objects and moved them away and just made sure that nothing can really fall on them, but it's pretty solid. This place is pretty new that's been built, so I think we're gonna be okay. Bolts look pretty well done. Let's see. It is a new day here in our town. We are actually on our way into GL. To I mean, yeah, full tank needs premium. But we are filling up the car, full tank, <laughs> because oh, tomorrow there is going to be a tropical storm. It is headed our way, and at the moment it is going to be a direct hit on the island. So Jay had an idea this morning yeah. to fill up both the vehicles so we have full tank of fuel. Because we don't have a generator at home and uh, our power bank can only last a certain amount of time, like maybe 24 hours. Yeah. So if I fill both the cars up to the brim with petrol, when the power bank runs out, I could recharge it in one of the cars, yeah. just leave the thing charging in the garage and then um, come back to power again. If we have a power outage for like 48 hours plus. Yes, or on another hand, if the power goes out and the fuel pumps don't work, and we needed fuel to get somewhere then yeah. we're just you know we're preparing today is a kind of preparing day we know this storm is coming tomorrow 
and we've been seeing lots of stuff being shared around online about the severity of it and this is our first time of being in a storm of this level of yeah. kind of force direct so direct hit as well direct hit on the island which is kind of rare this doesn't normally happen to Shargao so it is a little bit worrying i don't really know what to expect but today is also kind of a normal day because it is story's last day of school for her before they break for christmas so it's actually story's little school christmas party today so we're going to that first and then we're going to go to the shop and stock up on some food and stuff and come back home Hello, Mark. It was actually supposed to be Storby's Christmas party in two days time but they phoned yesterday to let us know that the school was going to be closing as of today so this is like the last day that they're going to do it to kind of shut up before the storm because if they didn't do it today then it wouldn't happen and then the kids kind of would miss out so they're moving it forward. All the preparation and dance practice they yeah. do will get lost. <laughs> yeah Storby's really excited to show us her dance so we're going to go yeah. and you are, aren't you? Yay! Yay! You got a little raincoat back there. <laughs> are you ready for the storm? No! <laughs> you look like you're ready for the storm. I'm not ready for the storm. I want to walk in the storm. You want to walk? walk in the storm. You I want to walk in the storm. You can't walk in a storm. We've got to stay inside. <laughs> so this is Stormy's here. We have a little gift for one of your school friends, don't we? Yeah, called Malia. Yeah. They're also doing a little gift exchange after the dancing, so that will be sweet. And we are home! Story's Christmas party went really well, it was really fun, really cute. We were there for a couple of hours and yeah, all had a lot of fun and gave out the gifts, it was really cute. So we are back home now and we did do a little shop on the way home. We've got loads of cans of beans and stuff, chickpeas. We picked up some lentils and like just some dry goods. We didn't get any fresh food today, just dry. We got flour because we tried to get a loaf of bread and we went to two places and they had all sold out completely. So it's not a big deal, but if we do fancy some bread we've got the flour there to make our own so we've got a nice little stash of beans and stuff and jay picked up some chocolate to see us through that possible power cut night back with poppy now she's been very good having her food i think she just slept the whole time we were out because when we came back she hadn't even eaten her little treat stick that we'd left out for her it was still on her bed so i think she just kind of found a little spot and chilled out for the day so jay's actually somewhere out here there he is <laughs> he is gonna cardboard up the window gaffer tape it or duct tape it so in preparation for tomorrow's storm oh no hello that's just i just closed that oh sorry <laughs> <laughs> this window doesn't close properly from the inside yeah. you kind of have to push it into the groove so what's the plan just close it as much as possible double side tape it and then gaffer tape around the edge okay just these two windows because these ones are pretty well sealed yeah okay maybe the front one okay Oop. okay so the problem with these windows you can see gaps through them down there and it's gonna make it so dark in here but I think it is necessary because the one main issue that we are worried about in the storm because the house is pretty solid and we are elevated so weak link in the house is the windows so if anything flew at the window they would smash pretty easily so we are gonna kind of sellotape sellotape like seal around them just to kind of minimize just in case there's an impact we don't know so far it's kind of calm before the storm maybe it's not too bad out there we're all right at the moment poppy's keeping a close eye on what jay's doing aren't you hey you prepared for the storm you'll be all right yes oh the rains have come jay's still outside he's getting absolutely drenched but i'm now thinking why aren't we sealing up from the inside does it have to be outside i don't know <laughs> 
Good morning, world. It is the day of Storm Odette passing over the island. So far, it is 7 a.m. We've all just woken up and there's nothing overly crazy happening outside. Yeah. Joe's phone has been going crazy on the other hand. Yeah, those yellow With things. All the there. emergency messages. They're the government warnings. Yeah. They make an awful sound. So it's signal three at the moment. What's the awful sound? And I think signal like five that? is like the craziest. Okay. Um, the waves are coming up really high, but we can still see a bit of sand. And over this way, the waves have been really big. We still have power though, currently. The internet is working, the electricity is on, the phone, is the phone still got signal? Yes, Everything two, two is... Oh, <laughs> yeah, there was a flicker in the light. Yeah, we we'll still have electricity. A flicker. a flicker like the power was gonna turn off, but it didn't. It didn't? Not yet. <laughs> yeah, uh, we are expecting that it's gonna be off at some point today, probably for quite a long time. So we are prepared for that. So we are going to start getting ready for the day now <laughs> see how this all pans out Poppy's just been looking out the window watching the storm the power has officially cut now I'm not sure how long for she's been alright hasn't she she's been behaving yeah, quite well back down to rest now she's been quite good with um, thunder and stuff like that before yeah, she doesn't seem to be bothered by it yeah the gardener in the grounds is still working today yeah I know yeah, I've seen him just walk past the window just then <laughs> going about his day like normal powering positive. through yeah he's still working <laughs> there was some talk about whether the storm was actually going to be a direct hit on the island or not and it's just officially been confirmed that odette or typhoon ride depending on which name is being used is going to pass directly over shargal so we will see the worst of it it's dark isn't it poppy i know the advice is to stay inside but pops and needs her walks uh, let's go out how's it looking out there poppy very appealing is it? It started raining now but it's not feeling very windy. It's supposed to hit really hard at about four, five o'clock in the afternoon maybe. That's when we'll see the strongest winds and the gusts. Right now my hair is not even really moving. <laughs> Let's have a close look at these waves. Well, wow. Alright Pops, you've done a big wee. Now you've looked at the sea. Should we head back in before we get soaked? The, the frost of the waves is coming right up to the sand. I've actually seen it touch the grass today. We're supposed to get six meter waves later. That's pretty crazy. We're surrounded by the coconut trees, so it's actually breaking up some of the wind. These guys up here are taking a hit. Check it out. It also doesn't look like the wind is just in one direction. It seems to kind of like blast one way and then the other sometimes. Oh. I'm seeing leaves come down now. Come on, Poppy, let's get in. You don't want to get crushed. I'm very grateful that we've got a strong concrete house, you know. Our landlady messaged us this morning saying that the people of Caridad are evacuating as of now. They're trying to get out because their town is very low. So they're moving into the evacuation center. Luckily, we live quite high up here on this kind of ridge. And uh, I feel like this is probably one of the safest places to be. We're also prepared for the fact that we may need to put someone up in this house if they need it, you know. If somebody hasn't got somewhere safe to go, there is a house here up on the hill next door. So it's a possibility. And the guest house, of course, over there has rooms. I'm just watching this tree, seeing how far it sways when the wind pushes it. It's like it kind of goes behind the house and then comes right out. Amazing how flexible they are. I'm surprised actually that our cardboard is still on the window. I thought that would have blown away in the storm by now. But it's protecting us from the worst of the, the water. It's yes. not even moving the card. I think it's because the wind is pushing against it, <laughs> probably. I think it's coming, the wind's coming from this way at the moment. Yeah. You it can has, see like water coming off the roof. It has been changing direction, hasn't it? Yeah. I just want a sun on the cardboard cardboard but on a piece of paper and then it works out quite good because it, it's right there with a sunny picture how do you think Ami? I like it because it adds a little bit of sunshine to the storm doesn't it yeah and actually it makes a little bit of sunshine to the black windows yeah 
because that might have been bad because it will be blowing away into the sea. Fish will eat it. They'll be eating crayons. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Poppy. Look what I've got. Are you interested of this? Yeah, show us your bracelet. You just made this, didn't you? I'm interested of this, Poppy. I made a new bracelet which was quite good. And it has an S clip on it. So you can like clip it together. And it works out very good. I made it with rubber bands and also I had a little tool which is this and it goes this way around so like you put the rubber bands on here. It's a rubber band bracelet and actually you put the rubber bands on top of here. You keep going on both edges. Loom, it's called loom. If my mum and dad found that loads of colourful rubber bands they can make a rainbow one. <laughs> that would be very 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 good because we can make a rainbow one. You can add beads to it, can you? Yeah. Poppy! Poppy! Poppy's doing very good. She's being quite calm. She's, as you see, she's curled up into a nice ball. Like a hedgehog. Are you a hedgehog? Are you a hedgehog? Aww. You're saying hello, are you? Look at his big ears. Oh my goodness, she's a wolf. Oh. You see that? Yeah. Whoa, look at that, look. <laughs> wow, it's come right up into the grass. Oh my gosh, if I went out there, I'd be blown on the floor. Yeah, you would. That's why the tree is flat. I know, they're really getting squashed, aren't they, by the wind? This is crazy. Oh my gosh, it's coming all the way. I know. It's coming oh, right I'm up. I'm never going to go over there. No, don't mind, I'm not going outside. <laughs> The winds have really picked up outside now. We've just been looking out of the window for about five or six minutes. It is supposed to get worse than this and it's already coming up so high that it's touching the grass, which is, you know, halfway to the house. And I never thought it would even come that far past the beach. So it's definitely, I mean, we are much higher than that still. Yeah. And so I'm still confident that we'll be okay up here and even if it does come all the way up the steps then we would have minimal flooding compared to anybody who was lower down so it's just something to learn from if I was putting a house here in Chargao I would definitely do what they've done here in this house raise it right up here because I feel much safer oh my goodness trees now they're bending oh no madness it's just been called to the oh other gosh, side of the house. The tree leaves! Oh, devastation, I can't... Leaves everywhere, I can't see anything really. Oh, and the what gardener was here today, wasn't he? Picking stuff up. He's still here, but he's in the house. With the yeah, I guess he's just here to keep an eye on things at the other house, isn't he? Yeah. God. Cool. Yeah, we're collecting the water now. It's actually blowing in through the kitchen window. This is the only window of the house that hasn't been rubber sealed. And then, it's made a massive puddle. Do you know, I thought I could hear something, like a drip, and I just thought it was my imagination, like all the noises going on. Yeah. But no, we've got a big old... I can see it now. And I'm trying to catch the drip. <laughs> Good. Oh. Well, we've been at the other side of the house. We've just I come over to the tree. front. My love tree. What happened to it? My love... One of my love trees have broken half. A tree has actually snapped in half, hasn't it? One of my love trees. Look at that. Can you see it? Look at that, it's actually snapped right in the middle. Good thing that went that way and didn't come towards the house. Look at that window. Look at the house. It would have landed on the roof. At least we've got a solid concrete roof, but yeah, that's one of our big trees. I love trees. Crazy. Whoa. Nearly lost the cardboard. Story Sunshine is still with us. I still can't believe that tree's fallen down. It's the only one that's gone at the moment. There's a couple of other tall ones over by Papang's place. But looking at the other trees here, even if they did fall, they wouldn't be able to hit the house, would they? No. Luckily. Maybe we should move away from the windows a bit now. Yeah. Oh no, the Kubo! Huh? Oh, the Kubo fell down! Story, look! Oh, no. That's literally just happened. Oh, no. I've lost the Kubo. I can actually feel a rumble on the side of the house, it's like an earthquake. 
Whoa. Whoa. This is definitely the worst storm we've had here so far, isn't it? Oh my goodness, this is the worst storm ever. Poppy got a bit scared, look. She's come to sit by our feet. Don't worry, Poppy. She's not going anywhere. Even the crabs have been blown up onto our window, look. I've never seen a crab on our window before. I'm trying to escape this terror. Their whole life is ruined. <laughs> I hope not. Poppy, you look terrified under there. I've never seen you hiding away from anything. When we looked out the window just earlier, we saw the Kubo was falling and now it's completely gone. You can't even see through the window. Let's have a look outside. Everything's falling down. Check it out. We've got corrugated iron everywhere. Leaves down, solar panels down, solar lights down. Oh my goodness. I've had a gap in the wind right now but this is not good this is not good at all the water tank has been blown over and broken there's trees everywhere this is really bad i can see our water tank is still standing thank goodness oh my god i think there's a tree inside our car no Oh my god! Oh my god! It's completely crushed my car. There's no sign of the road anymore. Oh man! Okay, I think the storm's coming back. I can't believe this. Oh my god! That must have been the eye of the storm, that little gap of peace. Because now the winds have come back again strong. The waves are blasting again strong. Everything just seems dark. I'm very glad that we went out and did the supply run the other day because we are going to be trapped here for a while. I can't imagine that there's going to be much scope of us going anywhere for the next two to three days. No, definitely. Definitely not. This place is going to need our help though. I feel, I feel sick. I know, honestly, there's like a pit in my stomach. Like, and we are probably in one of the safest places on the island right now because of the elevation, the fact that it's a concrete place. I can't even imagine. This is just so destructive. I think we're going to lose the roof on that house. <sighs> I'm terrified this window is going to break. I see it flexing in the wind, I'm trying to stay as far away from it as possible. Where's Poppy? Poppy? Hang on. Hang on. Poppy! 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 Where was it? Where was it? On the oh, Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Stay in here. Oh my goodness. 
Oh my goodness. Is everyone okay? Huh? Is everyone okay? Oh my man. Is this door closed? We got puppy. Thank God we got puppy. We got a story. Oh. We're okay. We're not hurt. Poppy and Story on the bed here. What was that? Oh no, more things falling down. What? You okay, Pops? Poppy hasn't moved for hours. Story's calmed down a bit. And we've had a look around, checked out some of the damage. It's not good. This place is ruined and we haven't even gone outside yet. Window completely, completely destroyed. That was terrifying. That window's completely gone as well. All of our stuff. The TV got soaked. Pulled, pulled Story's picture off the wall. And uh, hopefully we can save that because that was our like precious artwork. <laughs> and um, it's been emotional. It's not, I can't lie, this is terrible. It's really bad. Uh, I don't even know where the cleanup is going to start. There's so much to do, and even just taking a peek out of the window, you'll see how much needs to be done. Like a, it's like a different landscape and we haven't even seen the worst of it outside so there's only a few more percent left of battery on this camera it's gonna be dark soon as well yeah the lights fading quick and hopefully we've just passed the peak of the storm and things will start dying off from here but we don't know we've got no signal we can't check we actually don't know if, if that's the end of it or if it there's more it does feel like it's dying down but we've been through the worst of it um, but, yeah, we don't know, so, um, <laughs> we don't know, I don't know, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to say. Uh, I, honestly, this is going to be everything now for, I don't know how long, I just, I don't know how long. 